The former drum journalist was buried at Ferncliff Cemetery in New York. Nakasa's remains were exhumed at Ferncliff Cemetery in the U.S. at the weekend. He died after leaving South Africa on an exit permit during the 60s to take up a Harvard fellowship. Nakasa's reburial at home will take place next month at the Heroes Acre in Chesterville in Durban. Nakasa was only 28 when he tragically died in New York after falling from the seventh floor of a high-rise building near Central Park on 14th of July, 1965. A private uh, family service will be held at the Dubé Trade Port in Durban to welcome the remains. His funeral is expected to be attended by government officials from both the U.S. and South Africa next month. Now, for more on the story, we now cross to our reporter, Yanda Mshlongo, who is at the King Shark International Airport. Yanda, good morning to you and welcome to AM. What Very good morning to you, Elvis. Now, what time do we expect the arrival of the delegation and the remains uh, of the South African journalist Nadna Kasa at the airport? <laughs> Well, um, Elvis, uh, very good morning to you. And as you, you, you've correctly said, um, Nat Nakasa is making his final journey home after almost 50 years uh, in uh, exile. Um, we expect his uh, remains to arrive here at the Dubai Cargo ter Terminal at around half past 12. And as you can probably uh, see uh, behind me, we're actually outside the Cargo Terminal. At the moment, there is a small marquee. That is where the ceremony that you're referring to will be held uh, once his remains uh, arrive here in the country. As you do, as you uh, know, of course, and we have been reporting about it um, in that in the, uh, in the U.S. where his uh, body or his remains were exhumed. Um, that was uh, uh, the, there's a delegation that was led by uh, the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Tato, accompanied by uh, Nat Nakasa's sister and also other government officials. They are then accompanying um, his remains, and uh, they expected to land here at around uh, half past twelve. As I've said, uh, he will be then be met by uh, the Premier of the pro of province, Usenzo as well as uh, the mayor, other members of the Nakasa family. Uh, there will also be uh, members of uh, SANEF and uh, other former friends and colleagues of the late uh, journalist. Um, already in the moment, uh, Elvis, uh, while being here, we've already seen some cars, um, some of the uh, dignitaries that are expected to be here during that short service that will be held uh, later on. Um, they have started arriving. There has been some movement that we have seen around uh, the uh, marquee. Um, and as I said, uh, now more dignitaries are coming uh, through now just to make the, the preparations uh, for the family and the preparations, of course, for when uh, Nakasa finally touches down um, uh, here in uh, Durban. As you have said, of course, that um, thereafter he will be going to a local mortuary and at the weekend, uh, friends, the family, uh, the entire province of Kwasna, people of South Africa. You've also mentioned dignitaries that will be coming from the U.S. Absolutely, they will also hear uh, to bid farewell, his final farewell, where uh, Nat Nakasa will be laid to rest at the Heroes Acre Cemetery in Chesterville. That is his home uh, 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 township. That is where Nat Nakasa was born on May 12, 1937. So some of his family members will be present today at the reception there? Most definitely, yes. They have said that his family uh, will be here. Um, as I have said, um, uh, there is his family members that are accompanying or with him right now as they are making their way to South Africa. But there will be other members and relatives of the Nakasa family that will be here to receive him. And uh, there will be then that uh, short ceremony that will be held. There will be a prayer as the family has requested, um, a brief prayer. And then there's going to be, of course, uh, 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 some uh, um, uh, comments uh, from uh, the province of, uh, sorry, bigger pardon, from the Premier of the province um, and also the Mayor and we also said that there will be a short a speech um, by the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Tetra, who will just be giving an outline on the journey um, as, you know, Elvis bringing Nat Nakasa back to uh, his hometown, back to South Africa has taken some while. Sanef did say that it started in the late 90s in fact where they were um, in discussions and um, trying to get him to be expect. Uh, Mr. Mteto will then take us through the journey. Um, them arriving in New York, of course, they also held a memorial service, was held in New York prior to them leaving to come back home. And so he'll be just giving us a detail of that journey and, of course, what we can expect um, from now uh, until Saturday when uh, Nakasa is finally laid to rest. We also do know that even after his late to rest, there are other activities that government is planning, and not only here in the province of Kwasnatal, in honor of uh, this late iconic writer. 
And that's where we got to live. That's our reporter at the King Shark International Airport. We will cross to a little bit later to give us more details and update on that unfolding story. Nat Nakasa coming home, so you have to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Ayanda.